Yo guys, what is up? Max here on Diablo 4 video, and today we're going over the new druid. Uh, Blizzard has reworked itemization entirely. Uh, they've changed a lot of the things in Druid's skill tree. Uh, they've made it so now companions scale off of the stats on our gear. They've given us new aspects, new uniques. Uh, and I've been playing the PTR now for about 11 hours. And I want to just kind of go over my thoughts, both the good and the bad, uh, because there's some things I'm really disappointed with. Um, and I just kind of want to break down everything that I've played and experienced so far on the Druid and what I think are going to be the like stronger builds for druid with the itemization changes this isn't going to be a build video if you guys are looking for build videos for the ptr i'm happy to make them uh, but i kind of just want to discuss my thoughts on what i've played so far hope you enjoy the video let's get right into it so let's start with the good and end with the bad for starters the like codex of power tempered manual crafting is so good uh if you're not aware you no longer need to like break down aspects out of uh, your gear and save them. There's no longer like an aspect being detached from a weapon. The way it works is now your codex offers as a library. Uh, and when you get aspects, you can break them down. And if you find a max roll, it'll save that max roll and you can put it on as many pieces of gear as you want. Aspects are no longer a one-time use. Um, and so build crafting and putting together builds is way easier. Uh, there was this weird thing that would happen in Diablo where if you got a really good aspect, you wouldn't want to use it because you'd want to save it for a perfect piece of gear. That's no longer a thing. You can just slap those aspects on always and finding legendaries feels more rewarding. They basically killed rares entirely. There's like no need for rares besides just breaking them down now. Um, but that's really great. The next thing that they added is they changed the uh affixes that can roll on your gear everything is different um and there's brand new affixes that are so good for example uh they've added spirit per second which you can get they've also added affixes that you can get spirit on kill normally we would go into the ancestral guidance board to get like plus spirit on kill now you can just get that on your gear i messed around with a bunch of different builds just putting spirit affixes on my gear uh and it's really easy to uh, like maintain energy before like you really needed to do certain things or you needed to have to vault's will or uh, there was just it was uh, really frustrating to run out of spirit on druid and like have to use a basic skill i think basic skills unless you're needing them for your build are kind of dead um because you can roll resource cost reduction on all of your rings as extra acts affixes uh and like the spirit on kill is actually really really nice um next up they added brand new affixes i've got one here on my gloves for a chance to make enemies vulnerable unlucky hit these things are also really nice uh because before you kind of wanted to use the exploit glyph if you wanted to make enemies vulnerable on druid now you can just add things like this and get lucky hit skills and things will be turning vulnerable for you particularly single targets it's not as good as an exploit glyph uh but there's just more ways to build your character uh is kind of the big thing and the tempered manuals allow you to really get specific with the build that you want to make so for example if i'm making an earth build i can use tempered earth augments on my gear to give me a chance for my landslide projectiles to cast twice or a chance for my boulder projectiles to cast twice um which is all really good you can get flat shred crit chance uh you can get pulverized size you can get chance for tornado projectiles to cast twice. Um, hurricane size, you can get a massive hurricane if you wanted to, like a 90% increased hurricane size and just run around with a hurricane killing things. Uh, there's just so many more ways to not only build your character, but also like really fine tune and nail in on one thing that you want to focus on. Um, I personally have been loving the wolf companions. Um... You can roll like specific wolf attack speeds as a utility roll on your gear and the wolves now they benefit from your stats so if i'm building a bunch of crit chance or attack speed uh, my wolves will get that um and the wolves right now the like companion druid is genuinely going to be a thing their aoe isn't all that great unfortunately uh but their single target is really good i've got my druids not even like fully min max for it for like a companion build i'm like split between shred and companions at the moment um but my companions are hitting about eight hundred thousand to a million a auto attack and then they're hitting multiple millions 
on the actual activation of the wolves feels really good for single target they just delete things um and so that's all really really cool one thing to note about tempering uh, before we move on is it's going to make druid's paragon board feel way better um and so like this is just a, an example this is a weapon i just grabbed a random weapon not a good weapon whatever um but i can now uh, as an offensive roll uh, roll up to 85 percent damage to close 95 percent damage to distant because this is a two-hander uh i will get a double roll on it so i just got 155 percent increased damage to distant that goes up to a hundred and ninety percent damage to distant and I can roll it on my rings, my amulet, my gloves. We can stack up a ton of damage to distant or damage to close, whatever you want to do, uh, which is going to allow us to skyrocket the Thunderstruck node. Uh, just equipping that weapon, I've already got 50%. Um, I think with these changes to uh, the like tempering and how much we're going to be able to stack damage to close, damage to distant, uh, I think like lightning builds and tornado builds are going to be dealing double damage than what they were previously uh because you're going to be getting more like more than double the value out of the thunderstruck node which is just a overall massive damage increase um so i haven't gotten myself a tempest roar quite yet i want to mess around with that but i think lightning and tornado are going to be absolutely crazy once you start min maxing for them now let's talk about some of the things that i'm disappointed in uh and once again these are i'm like making these points and bringing these things up because once again this is the time to test this is the time to give feedback uh, as the like actual season four doesn't start for another like month and a half so to start us off, we've got this new ring, the Earthbreaker. Now, when I saw this, I was really excited for it. It reads, casting landslide causes tectonic spikes to continue to deal a flat amount of damage over two seconds. And summoning landslide pillars in tectonic spikes has a 21% chance to cause extra landslide pillars to spawn in the spikes. Now this on paper sounds now this on paper sounds really cool. It sounds like when we trample and we summon all of those landslides and we have the landslides casting twice, we're going to get tectonic spikes covering an entire battlefield. And then when we like poison creeper on top of the trample spikes, we're going to be getting even more landslides and it would lead to the like more so like trample landslide build which has been a really fun build it's a build i really enjoy just getting even more damage even more landslides even more area coverage this sounds like a best in slot unique for that build however i don't know if this is a bug or not uh, but if this does not work on landslides that aren't self-cast meaning that landslides get that get casted from poison creeper they don't do the tectonic spikes. You don't get a chance for extra pillars. For the trample landslides that summon from trample and go outwards, this doesn't work. It creates no tectonic spikes. It only works on self-casted landslide. And yes, you could make a like self-cast landslide build to cast more here. And maybe that's the playstyle that it's trying to gear towards. But like self-casting landslide just isn't a fun playstyle in my opinion um i really like being able to like play a build where i'm getting all these landslides going everywhere this would be a perfect ring for it uh, and it feels a little tone deaf uh making a unique ring that kind of plays into that landslide fantasy of causing even more landslides and then not working with all of the things that cause more landslides uh, so that seems pretty silly to me. Um, and then the, once again, this does have time to get changed. I really hope this is changed because otherwise I don't see this ring being used at all. Maybe it'll help for a little bit of single target. Maybe it's an item you put on for single target when you get to a boss and you're playing a landslide build, but otherwise pretty pointless. The other thing is the Wild Heart Hunger Boots. These are a new Druid Unique. They've got overpower damage, damage reduction, crit damage, and movement speed. So pretty cool stats here. And then when you shapeshift into a werewolf or a werebear, you gain Wild Heart for five seconds. Wild Heart grants you one point, up to 1.5% increased damage every two seconds, stacking up 20 times. Um, they're leaning into shapeshifting. There's a lot of new like shapeshifting buffs and shapeshifting is going to be something that's even more incentivized and even stronger. I just don't really care for these uniques because once again, they're like not really giving us, they're incentivizing a play style 
but they're not giving us anything real new with that playstyle. You're just going to deal more damage. When I think of cool uniques for the Druid, um, the things like the uh, unsung aesthetic wraps that like really changed the way that you could build and play Lightning Storm. That was fantastic. The Dolmen Stone allowed us to completely change the way that we play Boulder builds. These like transformative uniques that like change how skills work are, are so cool. Um, and both the Earthbreaker doesn't really transform Landslide at all because it doesn't work for all the things. And the Wild Heart Hunger, it just gives us a little bit more damage. Yes, if you're playing a shapeshifting build, you probably put these on, but it's not going to like allow n brand new playstyles, uh, such as like the Dolmone or the Unsetic Wraps or uh, the aspect that Poison Creeper cast Landslide. All of those things were really fantastic additions for the Druid and Druid builds, and these I just don't really see adding anything to Druid's arsenal. Uh, so pretty disappointed in those uniques. The, the only other new aspect that Druid is getting is the Fevered Mauling. When you hit at least one enemy with Maul, you increase its attack speed and you gain damage reduction. Uh, stacking up to five times, this will give us a hefty amount of damage reduction. So for survivability, this is going to be a nice aspect. Um, with all these shape-shifting buff changes, I think we're going to see a lot more people using Bestial Rampage for the... Uh, the 50% increased damage when you're a werebeard. This pairs really nicely with Maul, and uh, you don't really need to use that aspect, but if you do use that aspect, it's going to give you a little bit more survivability. Um, there are removing a lot of the sources of DR, so this is actually going to be a pretty nice one for stacking up a lot of DR. Um, and so that's going to be nice for survivability, but once again, not really like a transformative aspect uh, that gives us a new playstyle. Now, if Blizzard is looking for new transformative aspects or things that uh, I would love to see added as... You know, I'd rather just not sit here and complain and say I wish things were different. Uh, I'd love to propose some things that I'd love to see. Uh, with the changes, they added a lot of things to buff Hurricane. We've got Hurricane Size and Hurricane Duration that you can start rolling. Uh, we could get our Hurricane to be like up 100% of the time easily uh, and make it cover a ton of the screen. We get 90% hurricane size, 90% hurricane duration. Why not, with all of these things, uh, allow us to get a maybe a new unique that allows hurricane to deal some damage? Maybe enemies hit by hurricane have a chance to have like a lightning bolt summon down and hit them. Uh, and then you could use like a hurricane lightning build where you're dashing through enemies with shred, hurricanes hitting everything, and all of the enemies getting hit by hurricane have lightning bolts coming down and hitting them. You could scale it with the electrocution. You could scale it with the electric board. Uh, Tempest Roar could make shred a lightning skill, and then you'd shred around dealing lightning damage and having your hurricane constantly reset. You could pair it with nature's fury. Uh, there's so many cool synergies that could be done with that and now that hurricane uh is really cool and there's the unique that hurricane or the aspect that hurricane deals like 36 percent increased damage per second we could have it active for i think it's 15 seconds right now that's stacking up like 500 plus increased multiplicative damage on hurricane give us something with that that would be really cool that would be a new play style a new way to th make things viable they just added the ability that your companions can increase the damage of your wrath skills with the buffed uh, shepherd aspect um or stampede aspect i forget which one's shepherd or stampede but like i just love to see more transformative things uh the new uniques the new aspects aren't really giving much to druid especially when you look at what the other classes are really bringing to the table Guys, that is going to do it for the video. Once again, I uh, just wanted to get my feedback out there. There's some things that are really good here. The itemization is great. Uh, I think a, the Tornado Druid with all of the like attack speed that you can roll on your gear is going to feel insane. Uh, Companion Druid's feeling really nice. Boulder Druid is going to be hitting even harder. I think Boulder Druid's going to be one of the top builds for Druid. Uh, there's so many nice things and builds that were good are going to be getting better. Uh, I just wish that there was kind of some more new stuff happening for Druid with the uniques and stuff, uh, because right now the only real like brand new thing is companions. And companions are pretty sick, uh, but I don't think that they're going to be like clearing dungeons as fast as some of these other Druid builds. They are going to be pretty nice for bossing though. I could see companions hitting for millions and millions of damage as I've got a pretty crap setup right now and they're already deleting bosses. Um, so you guys, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Take care. Peace.